Mickey Brady, what's this evening all about? I'm delighted to be here in Claddy tonight. It's uh, an information evening, one of a series uh, run out by Dard. Uh, our Minister Michelle O'Neill. It's indicative of what Sinn Féin is doing in government. We are taking uh, government to the community. We are very rooted in the community. We're giving farmers the opportunity to find out what's happening. Uh, Martine Anderson's here. She will give them the European perspective. Uh, Michelle O'Neill will obviously give them a local perspective on what's happening. And it's very much uh, a, uh, the culmination of a series of meetings where thousands of people have actually come along to these meetings. They've been very useful, very informative. Great feedback from them. And I'm delighted to be here. Unfortunately, I can't stay too long because I have to go back to New York to a meeting about Daisy Hill and I'm obviously um, involved very much in that campaign as well but tonight is certainly and we can see by the crowd people are interested people are um, accepting that Dard are doing what they're best at under Michelle O'Neill's tutelage that we're getting out to communities we're letting farmers know what they're entitled to difficulties about uh, changes with the uh, common agricultural policy and all of that so it's, it's great to be here for myself being here, it was a great opportunity to uh, get a chance to engage with farmers about the issues that are most affecting their lives. Because when we have moved from the single farm payments to now the basic payment, the greening and the young farmers. And these are the issues that people needed more information about and they certainly got it tonight from Minister Michelle O'Neill and also from their officials. But they also heard what we were doing in Europe and particularly Matt Car who sits on the Agricultural Committee and he is working for the farmers here in the north who have concerns about the, the kind of inspections that are going on and whether they're punitive for them. Of course they understand inspections are needed. So he has engaged with Commissioner Hogan and said to him that you know he was concerned about what these farmers across Ireland were being put through. So Commissioner Hogan has produced a consultation on the inspections and I want to encourage the farmers here to go for it. It was also helpful to acknowledge Michelle O'Neill, what she was able to secure, the largest rural development programme for the north of Ireland. 623 million we have for six counties and in the south of Ireland they have only over 500 million euros. So she has done sterling work on Pillar 2 being able to secure that that. and that's the kind of reputation that Sinn Féin has in Europe. They can see that whilst we do not hold the economic levers of power in the north, that we are able to put money where it's needed and Michelle O'Neill was able to get the support of the executive and you have the other MEPs in the south of Ireland from Fine Gael who are in government and yet they're not able to top up in the same way as we have been able to do here. Mickey, the importance of evenings like this for rural communities, especially in this part of the world? Oh, very much, very important, and we are very proud here tonight to host this event. We had up on 400 farmers, and all with lots of different questions, and a lot of them left a lot happier and learned a lot on the night, you know. Great to see such an engagement even to this moment, Minister O'Neill's table besieged. Well, I think it'll be well after 12 o'clock before the Minister gets out of here tonight. Uh, but she has come through the night very well and she's talked well and Martina Anderson was brilliant as well and the Dard officials, everyone gave, gave us the truth and told us what it was about. And a lot of farmers, including myself, have learned a lot here tonight that we were probably didn't really know what was going on, you know. As the fellow would say, we're out here in the sticks, uh, milk prices, I'm not a milk farmer myself but I know I work with them, they're under serious pressure, beef farmers all under pressure and every pound that's there to be got, uh, Sinn Féin hopefully are working for us and letting us know what's there and what's going on and they like this are unbelievable, unbelievable to rural communities like us, a lot of people have Places like this don't travel, don't travel into big towns or big areas. So to come to the people, it's, it's a great, it's a great work. I have to thank them very much. Michelle O'Neill, 
the atmosphere in this room absolutely electric. A lot of interest in this series of meetings. Yeah, absolutely. This has been a, one of a series of road shows that we've been doing, and it's very clear from the numbers of people, the numbers of farmers and rural dwellers that come out to get the information that there's a demand for that information. I'm so delighted that we've been able to be on this in these road shows and be able to give people what they need. Like you can see from the crowds here tonight, the questions, the answers. There's such a lot. Of, it's a big time of change because of cap reform. So people, you know, need the information to make the best decisions for their businesses. And for me, this is what it's about. It's about real engagement. It's about getting right into the harder rural communities, and it's about engaging with the farmers and giving them what they need to make the best decision forward. Your party colleague Martina Anderson had from Brussels really living up their commitment to bringing Europe to the community. Absolutely. She started off her day in Brussels this morning, and she's ended up in Claddy in South Armagh this evening. So I think that shows the testimony to the commitment that Martina brings to the role that she does. So I'm delighted to be on a platform with her tonight for us to be able to say what we're doing in terms of trying to support rural communities. And Martina has been a fantastic, for a city girl, she's been a fantastic MEP for the rural community and she's shown that very clearly throughout her whole campaign in the run into the election, but for actually our engagement that she's done since in terms of coming right into the heart of rural communities. Well, it's great to share a platform tonight along with uh, Mickey Brady, our candidate in the upcoming Westminster elections, a man that I know will do a tremendous job representing the people of Nuri and Armagh. And I think he's very clearly throughout his campaign shown his commitment to rural areas. So it was great to share the platform with him tonight and alongside Martina Anderson, our MEP, and Cahill Boylan. And again, in the room, there was a number of our local councillors here. And I just think that shows what um, Sinn Féin do. This is what we're about. We're about real engagement with the grassroots. We're about going out and listening to people. We're not about sitting up in departments and, and just listening to department civil servants. For me, this is very clearly what we should be at. This is the, the job of work that we're involved with here about giving farmers information. This has been a fantastic engagement and we will do many more of these over the next number of years because I think that it's a time of great change for the farming community and for the rural community and for me I take my job seriously in terms of making sure that I touch base with the people that I'm supposed to be representing.